Hi everybody, I am Debbie with Rocky Mountain Lodge and today we are going to be making Ebel Skeevers. Y'all know what those are, right? Doesn't everybody know what an Ebel Skeever is? See, this is Ebel Skeevers, yeah, right? No? Okay, I'll tell ya. <laughs> so Ebel Skeevers are Dutch jam filled pancake balls. And so just kind of a fancy way to make a pancake um, pretty easy. They just take a little bit of time to cook, about five minutes on each side. Um, so I'll tell you all about that. You can find this recipe at our website at RockyMountainLodge.com and click on the recipes tab. We also have a, our own cookbook here, Rocky Mountain Lodge and Cabins, More Favorite Recipes, which we sell on our gift shop tab on our website. And currently everything in our gift shop is half off, so you can get this cookbook for $10. It even includes a free ebook version, so you can download it on your phone, your tablet, your computer, anything you want, and have those recipes on the go. All right, so you can get this at our website too. It's ten dollars. All right, so now we're going to start our Ebel Skeevers. So we just need a few different things. The first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need an Ebel Skeever pan. This is an Ebel Skeever pan. It just has little round balls. Um, you can see the other side there. It's cast iron, it's, so it's pretty heavy metal. Actually, I don't know if it's cast iron. No, I don't think it's cast iron, but it's cast aluminum or something. But anyway, it's pretty kind of heavy there. Not as heavy as cast iron. But anyways, so I've got this on my cook plate. It's already preheated. And so what we're gonna need to make these pancakes are, we're gonna start with, um, I've got two cups of flour here, which I've sifted. And then we're gonna add two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And actually, the recipe that I'm telling you today is actually a half recipe, half portion of the recipe. This full recipe will make 55 of these Ebel Skeever pancakes, um, or this will make about 26, 27 pancakes when you cut it in half. So you can even cut it in quarters if you want. But anyway, so for this half version, I've got two cups of flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, I am going to add some salt. I have a quarter teaspoon and an eighth of a teaspoon. We're gonna add that there. And now I'm just gonna whisk these together. And now I'm gonna add a half a cup of packed light brown sugar. Do you know what the difference between light brown sugar and dark brown sugar is? The only difference is dark brown sugar has more molasses in it and so it makes it darker and a little bit more rich. So there's the tip of the day for you. All right, so we've got our dry ingredients mixed together. And so now we're gonna add our wet ingredients. We're gonna mix those together. So I have here one and a half cups of milk. And then I have two eggs lightly beaten. Actually, I did two eggs and then I just kind of dumped a little bit out because the full recipe is for um, full recipe is for three eggs, so I just did a little less. All right, so there's our eggs, and then we have three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla. So pretty simple, similar to just your regular pancake recipe. So here's our wet ingredients that we're going to mix up right here, and we are going to add these to our dry ingredients. Make a little well in the middle there. And now we're just gonna mix these up. I'm gonna whisk these together. Wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Get these all mixed and then we'll be ready to start cooking. Now there's a couple of different ways we can make these Ebel Skeever pancakes. We can just make them in balls and add our filling to them later if we want. You can eat them with no filling and just pour, drizzle them with pancake syrup if you'd like. But these are typically jam-filled pancakes. And so there's a couple ways to do that and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm just mixing up our pancake batter here. It smells good with that vanilla. All right, so there's our pancake batter all done. So now what we're gonna do is I've got our pan nice and hot here. So I have here about two tablespoons of melted butter. And so I am just gonna brush each of our little wells with some melted butter. You can hear it sizzling. 
And then I have a one tablespoon ladle and a two tablespoon ladle for different reasons. I'm gonna start with our two tablespoon one and I'm gonna put two tablespoons into the well here of the pan. You don't want it too full because then it'll be difficult to flip. So I'm gonna do four of these or about three, I think I'll do three of these this way with our two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna do some these with little one tablespoons part way. Okay, and I think my griddle cooled off quickly here, so I'm gonna get that hot again. So these, we're just filling halfway, and we're gonna add a couple of different fillings in here this way, and then those will pipe in later. Just wanna show you both ways of doing it. So these, since they only have a half a portion there, I am now going to add some of our fillings here. So I have a couple of different ways of doing this. We're gonna pipe in some jam later into these three. This is just some raspberry jam that I put into a pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, just use a zip top bag and cut the tip off. And now you've got your own. So I'm gonna put some Nutella in a couple of these. You can put anything you like in here. You don't necessarily want to fill them too much. So we're just putting in about a half of a teaspoon in here. So I'm going to do a couple of these with Nutella. You can do chocolate chips. Um, you can do jam. I also have a part of a mashed banana, a ripe banana that I have mashed. And so I'm going to put these in a couple of these here. Just a little bit of ripe banana. You could also put some mini chocolate chips in here. I was gonna get my Hershey's syrup out. I forgot to do that. So just a little bit of banana, a little bit of Nutella. You could do some jam also, anything you want. But I just wanna show you two different ways of making these. And so then we are going to take some more topping, some more of our pancake batter, and we're gonna put these over that and let those continue to cook. So you can see that these have kind of puffed up and over the sides, probably a little bit too much. It'll just make it a little bit more difficult when we want to go flip it, but it'll be just fine. It might just be a little bit messier. Okay, so then we have to let these cook. They take about three to five minutes per side. You want to cook them until they are light golden brown. And so while I'm waiting for these to cook, I will tell you about what we're going to make next week. Actually, nothing. Nothing next week. I won't be having here for a video next week. Um, so in two weeks from today, on August 11th, come on back at 2 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, and we're going to be making some ginger chicken wraps, something great, easy to go meal, nice and light for the, the summers. So ginger chicken wraps on, in two weeks, August 11th. And if you like this video, go ahead and share it. Um, tell everybody about it. And so let me see how these are doing here. My, like, we've talked about this before. My cooktop isn't as hot as my gas stove. So what I have here to flip them, you can use a couple of different things. Here's some chopsticks. So I got a couple little chopsticks. I'm not a drummer. And then you could also use a couple little spatulas. You can use a different flexible spatula here. That works also a couple of different things so whatever you like but I want to do these till they're golden brown on each side and then we'll flip them so this one they'll start to bubble a little bit the dough in the middle will still be kind of doughy because it's going to flip over and cook and then it's going to kind of make a ball on the other side once we get it so I just want to check these and see how they're doing if they're getting golden brown let's see I don't think they're quite as brown as what I want them to be yet so nope they have to go a few more minutes I've got this cooktop on max. Um, not my favorite cooktop here. I could do it over my stove, but it's easier to just do it right here. So also, let me know what other kind of things you would like to have me make on future video demonstrations. I'm really excited after our, our ginger chicken wraps here in a couple of weeks. We should have our Palisade peaches in, our first shipment. Hopefully we'll be in by then, and we'll start doing some more peach recipes. I'm super excited about that. Um, also just tell you that I'll show you one more thing while those are cooking. 
still some, not, nothing that I'm going to do a video on, but I just want to show you. I'm pretty excited about this. My husband has gotten me cherry trees. And so one of the trees that I got a few years ago have given me cherries. And so I'm super excited to make a cherry pie out of these. I should be able to do that here tomorrow. Really excited. I love cherries. These are tart cherries. My favorite. Cherry is my favorite pie. What's the kind of tree? It's a Montmorency. Or I might be pronouncing that wrong. Montmorency. If anybody knows how to pronounce it, just kind of spell it out with a little inflections how, how I should be pronouncing it. But you want tart cherries um, to make pies. You don't want the sweet eating bean cherries. All right, so I think this one is about ready to flip. You can see how it's gotten a little bit drier around the edges and then still wet in the middle. Hopefully it's gonna be brown on the outside. So I'm just gonna take this one and flip it. Yep, that looks perfect. So I'm just using these two little spatulas. You can also use, like I said, the chopsticks. So that one's great. So I think these three are gonna be ready to flip. They're not necessarily the easiest thing in the world. You just wanna be careful not to burn yourself. That's really easy to do. And don't worry if they aren't perfectly shaped, they're gonna be gorgeous. And like I said, I put a little too much batter in this, these, but that's okay. So we're just flipping these over. And then that dough that was not cooked has kind of fallen down on the inside. You can't see it, but it's gonna make a ball on the other side. Okay, so let me see. I don't think these are quite ready yet. They might be. Yep, I think they are actually. So these are ready to flip as well. And they're all ready. So that's great. So let's see, let's get these up. Let me try the chopstick version and see how that goes. Might be a little easier or not. Okay, that might actually be a little easier to do that with the little chopsticks. So you have to get this pan. If you go to my website, RockyMountainLodge.com and click on the recipes tab and find this recipe, I have a link to where you can purchase this pan on Amazon. It's not very expensive. Okay, so these are all of our Ebel Skeevers flipped. So you can see they're kind of done on one side. So we just have to let them stay on that side and cook a little longer. I'm not gonna cook all of these today. I'm just gonna cook these to show you how it goes. So I'll set this stuff aside since we are done with this for the moment. And then we'll move on to filling them. So some of them, we already have our Nutella ones filled and we have our banana ones filled. What did I do with my chocolate sauce? It's right here. I'm gonna nuke this in the microwave for a few seconds. It gets really thick, the Ghirardelli chocolate sauce. All right, and now while those are finishing cooking, I also have some jam that I have in a piping bag with the tip just snipped off, or you can use a zip top bag if you don't have one of these. All right, just a few minutes. Hopefully that was enough to get this out of here. All right, or a few seconds. Let's see how these are doing. Okay. See if they are done. Yep, actually those look done. So you can see the bottom side here. Oh, thank you. The bottom side. So we have our little pancake balls. They're just little pancakes in a ball shape. So we've got these three that are not filled yet. I'm gonna set these aside just for a minute. I think these are, these are also pretty well done. I think that's a Nutella one, I think, if I remember mm -hmm. right. We'll find out when we break into them. That's a banana. Oh, that's a banana? Well, no, Nutella and banana. No. Oh, right, Nutella and banana. I think those two might be Nutella. These that's, two might be no, banana. those two are banana. Oh, good. I'm glad somebody can remember Nutella. These, yeah, Nutella. 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 Actually, that one looks like it might be Nutella, but we'll see. That is Nutella. That's yeah. Nutella. And then these two are probably banana. Yes. Okay. So then these ones, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take the, our piping bag. Actually, before we do that, I'm just gonna take the other side of my chopstick, that not the skinny side, but the fat side, 
and I'm gonna make a hole, pierce the hole, so you're making a little well inside to put the, actually I'm gonna do them all at once. Save myself some time. Okay, this is where we're gonna put the jam. All right. So then you're just gonna take your piping bag and you're just gonna squeeze. It's like a jelly donut, huh? Yep, kinda like a jelly donut. They're jelly-filled pancakes. There we go for those. And then what we will want to do is, I'm gonna grab a plate, is we're going to sprinkle them with some powdered sugar. So we've got our jelly, our hopefully Nutella mm -hmm. and banana. Mm -hmm. Put a couple of each, Nutella, banana. Okay, I'll move this one aside. So then we're gonna sprinkle them with some powdered sugar. And they're all done. Or, let's see, now if I can remember, I think the banana. Nutella. Yeah. Nutella, banana back here. I think these two are banana. Those two are banana. All right, so chocolate and banana go really well together. That's not me, I promise. <laughs> okay, so this is really a, a thick chocolate. I was gonna go and get a Hershey's out of my pantry and I forgot. It's not cooperating. <laughs> you don't have any more in the fridge? Just, There's no Hershey's in no, the fridge? No, I already looked in the fridge. I have some in the pantry, but I forgot to go get it before we you started. You could also use caramel if you want. Yep, caramel would be great also. So, there we go. So, we have some of these. So, what's going to happen is we're going to open them up. And you can see they are going to be filled with jam and they're just a regular pancake my husband and I were eating these yesterday and then here's our Nutella all melted and gooey inside there I'll leave that one but you can see the banana let's see if I can get this one open in the middle oh that's a Nutella. Nutella okay okay two Nutellas this is another banana yeah there's our banana all right so that is how you make Ebel skeevers, not hard, just pretty fancy pancakes. And so if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, share it, and come back in two weeks. And we'll, on August 11th, we'll make some ginger chicken wraps. Um, they're delicious. And thanks for joining me. Visit our website, RockyMountainLodge.com, and you can find all of our recipes there. And you can also Click on the gift shop tab and purchase our cookbook, which has 500 recipes in it for $10 right now. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. I look forward to seeing you guys back in a couple of weeks. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.